Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher, author, and the owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're talking about the best end of year math projects. End of year can be a struggle for both teachers and students. Today, we're going to look at the top nine end of year math projects to make teaching easy in the month of May. Let's avoid the mayhem and plan for a highly engaged and fun month of May. First, there are three pillars for math projects that we need to discuss. Your end of year math projects should include the following three elements. Number one, focus on review of math skills. You are not teaching new material in May. I wanna repeat this, you are not teaching new material in May. Have fun and focus on reviewing grade level skills, nothing new, period. Number two, the math project must have high engagement for kids, meaning that the math project is student-centered. Again, you are not teaching. The kids are doing the math, the kids are doing the project, the kids are responsible for the project. Number three, it's got to be easy to implement. Make sure you have an easy rubric to grade by and that students can understand and follow it. It will make the math project process easier too. Okay, we're starting at number nine, math walk project. This is for grades six or eight middle school students. It's a fun geometry project where students get to go outside. It's the perfect way to review geometry skills in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Fun for kids to complete on a playground or in their neighborhood. The math activities will keep your students engaged in learning in nature. This math walk project is intended to help students understand geometry and the world around them and look for shapes in nature that are 2D, 3D, finding their area, surface area, and volume. There are nine activities included and also a digital version is available. Your students will love looking for geometry in nature too. Okay, number eight is the grades three through five math walk project. This is similar to the math walk for middle school, except this math walk project is helping students in grades third, fourth, and fifth understand geometry in the world around them with shapes in nature that share attributes, lines of symmetry, similar properties, parallel, perpendicular lines, and much more for upper elementary. There are nine activities included and a digital version is also available. Your students will love looking for geometry in nature and they'll be working independently. They'll be engaged in mathematical discussions and more. Number six, math walk project for primary grades, K-1-2. So students get to go outside. They get to have fun in nature. You can do this at school on the playground or have students take this home and do it in their own neighborhood. Students will look for shapes in nature and identify, name, analyze the shapes, compare, distinguish between how many sides, how many points they have. They'll be looking for 2D shapes in nature. There are nine activities included and a digital version is also available. Your students will love looking for geometry in nature. It's a fun project for any K2 student. And moving right along with number five, the symmetry project. This is for grades four through seven. Students will have a fun learning experience, learning about symmetry, lines of symmetry, symmetric figures, how to make and look for symmetry in nature, create a geometry project with symmetry. Activities include symmetry 101, alphabet symmetry, words, numbers of symmetry and art. Students will even complete a paint blot pattern and make a symmetry project too. This is a great math project to complete at any time of year and especially the end of year during May. And number four, palindromes project. This is for grades four through seven. Students will be engaged in learning about palindromes, how to look for numeric palindromes, and create a number sense project. Included are activities for comparing numbers, making palindrome numbers, and students will end with a puzzle and a project. There is also a digital version included for Google Classroom. If you are digital, this is the perfect math project to celebrate any palindrome day in your math class or prepare your students for the future when they have a palindrome day. 
so they can tell others about it too. And number three, tessellations project for upper elementary students. Students learn about tessellations and geometry on their level. This is perfect for third, fourth, and fifth graders. The packet teaches students about tessellation history, how to make and use tessellations, how to create beautiful art with tessellations. They will make a tessellation art project at the end with a scaffolded approach, and you can easily display the finished works of art in your classroom or the hallway. The Tessellations Math Project is a great end of year activity for middle school students. This project teaches students about the history, how to make and use complex tessellations, and create beautiful art with geometry. They make tessellation art with complex shapes, and it's the perfect end of year project to complete in your class. Easy to display in your classroom or the hallway, or maybe there's an art gallery at your school where you can have them displayed too. And number one is the Math Game Board Project. This is my favorite way to end the year. Students can complete this independently or in groups. It is easy to grade and kids love playing games. It's an end of year board game project that's fun, interactive, and engaging. Students will create and play in your classroom. So this activity I end with every school year because it's so easy to implement. Kids are highly engaged and I get to pack up my entire classroom, take everything down off the wall, put everything in boxes for the summer. So if you want to engage your students too and have them playing fun math games, I highly recommend this project. It will take the last two or three weeks of school and keep your kids engaged. It's easy to grade uh, with the rubrics that are included for grade levels five, six, seven, and eight. Kids love playing games. This game board project is perfect for classwork or you could send it home as a homework project but your students will have the most fun creating and playing their own math games in your classroom. It will make for the best end of year memories in your classroom. It's mayhem. Every teacher knows it. It's mayhem in May. So avoid it by planning for a math project to engage all of your students in May. Keep your students busy by reviewing math skills on their grade level. You don't have to teach anything new. Let me repeat that. You don't have to teach anything new. You are done with testing. You have done your job and prepared your kids. So now go and have some fun in your classroom with a math project. Group work. Now is the perfect time for partner work. Assign your kids to a math project independently or with a partner or with a group of three to four kids. Don't assign more than four kids to a group. Also, if you want higher engagement, assign partner work or independent work. Kids are more engaged if they have more responsibility for their own work. Best practices to follow when completing a math project in class. Keep it simple. Choose just one project. Write a timeline when you will start the project and when you will finish the project in math class and have a easy grading rubric to make it easy for you, the teacher. For more information about end of year math activities and summer math activities, be sure to check out the Teaching Math and More store. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and I'll see you next time.